everyone, welcome back to Command Wolf Gaming. I'm CWG, and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. And look at this lovely guy here, this giant mystical being of truth and justice in the middle of a desert. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be cleaning this guy up today. Yeah, ooh, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, we know that Vacanic is giving off. Uh, we don't know why, but it is. Uh, now, I actually... Um, it, it's kind of funny because I was thinking about this uh, the other day when I was looking at it. And I was like, oh, you know what? Honestly, this kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Atlantic, uh, it was Atlantis Lost Empire 2. If you guys don't really remember that movie, it was actually a sequel to the Disney movie uh, Atlantis Lost Empire, where they actually discovered um, that there was an ancient civilization now in the middle of nowhere, and uh, they all shared a, uh, the Atlantean blood or something like that. I, I, it's been a long time since I actually watched that film, but um, it's actually a fascinating idea, honestly, uh, thinking uh, that maybe possibly that way back in the day before us humans were here, there was a civilization that was that lived pretty much all over the place, right? And one of the major places that they lived was somewhere out in the Midwest, in the driest is uh, in driest de uh, desert. But they lived as well uh, aquatic people, Atl Atlanteans to be specific. Um, and uh, yeah, one of those weird theories that are out there. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I I know some of these theories. I'm not too fond of all of them. Uh, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we are going to get into cleaning this big guy up. He is completely covered in dirt, mud, clay, sand, and grime, and mud, and so much more. Jesus. Uh, let's see here. I got to put the extension. Gonna go super long. And I'm assuming that this is going to go well here. Now, as per usual, I do want to kind of like um, spend a little bit of time creating a time lapse. Maybe I'll do half this structure as time lapse and the other half as regular, you know, input. Uh, but I don't know. Haven't really decided yet. But uh, let's get right into this and start getting this guy clean because he is absolutely filthy. Very gorgeous, but filthy. Um, uh, <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that means uh, we're going to get going.
Okay, so that was a quick time lapse right there. Uh, yeah, let's remove this real quick. Oh, I'm not doing that on here. Last time I did that, I got teleported out of the area. Please pick up. There we go. Let's move this out of the way. Let's see what we have here. Look at that. Nice and clean blue structure right there. Ah, uh, yes. Look at that pearl gem. All right, what it, uh, what is that? I don't know what the uh, blue is. But, uh, okay, so we got a lot to, uh, still to clean on here. It doesn't seem like much, but there's a lot of cracks and grooves that have to be gotten at. And I know it, like, on the time last, it didn't look like it, it was that uh, slow. Uh, but, yeah, you know what? It is what it is. So let's just clean this face here. We want to see this guy's purdy face here. I might have to get a little closer. Up close and personal with the king of the desert. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna go and get this from here. It's not looking too bad. This guy's the king of the desert here. Even though he's, uh, you know, what are he? <laughs> uh, okay, let's get that over there it's hard to get these angles these angles are actually kind of bothering me come on perfect Where am I missing? I'm so confused on uh, where I'm missing now. Uh, wait, cheek guard. How am I missing this? Is it because I have to get at a weird angle? Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta get at a weird angle. There we go. I'm in an awkward position. Um, uh, hmm. Can I get around? Yeah, I could. Look, Mom, on top of the world! <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. Crystal Pendant. What? This is not done? It is not done. Now it's done. Okay, cool. Uh, arm Slab. There we go. Still another Arm Slab. So it would be. Oh, wait, I just saw a flicker. Chest. This pectoral. Right here. There we go. That's done. Now we gotta go up. Let's check the arm slab. Shoulder, shoulder, arm. Wait, arm, arm. <sighs> Come on. Ah, there you are. Why are you so dirty? No longer to be dirty. You cannot be dirty. There we go. Jesus. Just that little tiny bit on the outside. That volcano is actually very concerning. Um, I just keep seeing it out of the side of my eye. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what's going on. There we go. Back slap done. Another back slap that isn't done. Great. It's in another spot that I haven't looked at yet. Uh, Seriously? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Is it like in the pit? No, it's right there. Okay, cool. Uh, cheek guard slab. Are you kidding me? Which cheek guard? Okay. So the top one. Right over there. Seriously? What's uh, dirty on here? Yeah. Seriously, that's a tight space for that to be, uh... What? Come 
Come on. There we go. Face slab is uh, done. Still another one that's not done. Really now. Where are you not done? Show it. I saw a flicker. Oh, okay, sweet. So it's like the forehead or something? It's fins, fin spines, helmet slab. Okay, so fine, I can do that. Okay, that's fun. Fin spine. Fin this one's not done. Don't know how that one's not done. That's why I try to do everything methodically. There we go. I blame myself for this. Okay, that's a fence. Can I? Where can I put this? Sure, that'll work. And a helmet slab. Let's see what else. Helmet slab, cheek guard. Probably something underneath. There we go. Whoa! Ah. Uh. Hmm. Okay. These time lapses are pretty cool. I wish uh, they put like some sort of music or something to it. <laughs> I think it would be much more uh, entertaining that way. There we go. Um, I wonder where the next job is. Ew. Okay. Um, uh, how bad is this? I. I. I mm. I think we could do this. This this is fairly small. So, I think we could do this. Alright, let's... Uh, I don't know what I could do with time lapse on this. This is so small.
Okay. Um, wow. This is um, grimy. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what the story behind this is. What is the story? I, I need to know. Messages. Please help. I've done a terrible thing and now my beloved stump plane is egg bound. Okay, so that was weird. Just uh, as I was getting uh, the heck off rushless, there was this huge flashlight. I thought it, I was gonna for sure, but no, the volcano just instantly calm. Just starting to uh, go gargle again. Uh, some time ago, everyone. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, that's uh, interesting. So apparently the statue that we did in the last uh, section of the game um, had something to do with calming the volcano. Interesting, interesting. Everything is connected. Uh, yeah, I'm... How did I miss that? Jesus. Wow, I really missed that. Uh, hmm. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now this is actually the tail number the uh, for the aircraft, the registration number for the aircraft. Uh, the reason why it's down below is uh, for easy identification from the ground. Uh, you would also find it again on the fuselage or sometimes on the tail, depending on uh, how it's uh, designated and uh, put on there. Uh, on this aircraft, I don't know if this is actually to scale or if that is a legitimate uh, tail number, right? It is put on the side of fuselage and on the wing. So, and I guess because it's such a smaller aircraft, it, there's not much room on the tail for it to do it. Technically, you can put it on the tail though. So, okay, clean that up. Very good. God, this. See, this this is not a huge project, right? But it's just there's a lot of grime uh, on this, and it's having a hard time kind of uh, coming off here. Uh, come on, come on. There we go. Clean that. Clean that. Jesus. go now um, it is actually common for uh, prop planes especially something like this to actually have a, a streak of uh, exhaust coming off from this side like especially right here this is probably yeah as you can see it says exhaust on here right it's not uncommon for it to actually uh, see a streak of exhaust coming from here all the way down the aircraft just for the simple fact that it is uh, like everything else, carbon buildup, right? Well, uh, not carbon, burned uh, fuel, you know? I, I don't know what I'm getting at with this. So yeah, but that's usually the dirtiest spot uh, on an aircraft uh, because of all the exhaust uh, that get it gets blown on there. Especially, uh, you can see it more uh, on the prop planes, but just because of how small they are and how much they run, right? On the bigger jet planes, right, uh, you don't see it as much just for the simple fact that it is pushed straight out the back, and since it's not interfering with it, uh, anything, you don't really see it on the engine cowl or anything specifically in regards to that. However, I am not a uh, expert on everything. Uh, there are some different applications. For instance, on smaller jet uh, craft, you'll probably see it more often than not, just for the simple fact that it's closer to the body. And this goes for well any type of exhaust. If you have the exhaust closer to the body, you'll see a uh, much more exhaust buildup on this side of your. Uh, vehicle in regards to that. So, uh, I said clean. Come on, come on. Jesus, this stuff's not coming off. Oh, 
Wow. As soon as this stopped the stream. All right, there we go. Come on now. Seriously, what what is dirty on the up, upper wing? Ah. Perfect. Uh, cockpit, that is a glass, so I need number. Uh, glass. Perfect. Uh, what else has to be cleaned on here? Elevators. Elevators. Oh, that's upper airline, lower airline. Elevator. That's right. Don't worry, guys. I am a professional. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Don't worry about it. I'll get these things nice and sparkly clean for you. What is not clean on here? I'm so confused. Okay, there we go. It's the inside edge. There we go. Oh, you're not clean. Gotta get you. There we go. Front wheel. Front wheel cover. And uh, the runner. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I say that as I don't do it. <laughs> there we go. Really? The microcosm of the spot here? There we go. And the rudder. Now, where on the rudder? Rudder. I got it! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man. Let's see how that went. Didn't go too bad. Uh, again, there was a lot of, like, grime and stuff on there that, uh, you know, from the exhaust, and it seemed like it, it might have flown through the volcano, so there might have been some volcanic ash on there. Is there any other jobs, or is that it? I think that's it. Um... Wow, okay, so I guess we hit the limit for the game again here, but okay, that wasn't too bad. I, I, honestly, it was nice to get back here for a little bit and just kind of do one more round, uh, run around. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there's other tasks we could do in kind of like a more timely fashion now that we got all the attachments and stuff, but... I think that is about it. I want to thank everyone for tuning in today here on Command Wolf Gaming. Hope you enjoyed the footage. Did you guys know only about 5% of you are actually subscribed to the channel? That's right. Only about 5% of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. And all the subscriptions do help out the channel. Um, and uh, did you guys know I also have an Odyssey channel. It's o d y s e e dot com that's why it's o d y s e e dot com slash at command wolf gaming uh there is a link down below for uh for those who are interested and it will have uh a did they update this i think they updated this yeah i think they updated some of the textures on here um uh on that channel uh they will have some additional stuff uh stuff uh, that you would not see on this channel. They would have videos uh, that are coming up uh, a week ahead of time uh, than on YouTube. And obviously you'll see all the YouTube stuff as well. And uh, some additional content that you might not see here on YouTube. So make sure to check that out. It's a, it honestly is another streaming, uh, video streaming platform uh, that's not politically affi affiliated like YouTube is doing. And anyway, like I always say, folks, like, subscribe, and share, spread the love, and hope to see you next time here on Command World Gaming. Bye-bye now.